السلام عليكم انا اسي السلام عليكم اسي 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 kind of complete my thoughts and our conversation that we had earlier. Um, I asked you guys what you thought the biggest threat there was. And uh, Amelia, your response was uh, the biggest threat to us is us. And then, Amelia, and, and then Ibrahim, your point was our habits. And... Um, Those were interesting answers. Uh, Amelia, when you said our biggest threat is us, gosh, that, that's something that, you know, I, I, that really hit me hard because it, 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 I realized that some, some years ago that, that uh, threat isn't out there. It's, it's right here. The biggest threat is right here in my head. Uh, the biggest risk, risk, I should say. Financial risk, and uh, well, every other, most majority of the other risks. Um, you know, so first, there's only a few things in life I think you need to get right that you need to, you know, to figure out. And then you have to prevent yourself from doing stupid stuff. Um, so. Let's talk about that. Uh, one common theme that you've noticed or you will notice in, in some of these um, videos I've made so far is uh, mindset, you know? It's, uh, you know, how best to uh, to have success with self, you know? I will talk, about, you know, I will be talking about success with others. Uh, having a uh, good relationship with others, uh, having rich, positive relationship uh, with others. But first you have to have that, uh, a, a good relationship with yourself. And um, in a number of videos I talked about how to do that. Well, um, you know, living a purposeful life, you have to find that purpose. Um, in that computer program example that I've used before, uh, that computer is doing a bunch of stuff, but it doesn't even, it can't take responsibility for that. So using that same uh, example, you, you have to be responsible for your life. You must first accept that. You must first accept that you are responsible for your life and then what you're going to live your life for. And there you imagine the end of your life and you go backwards. What do you want to have achieved? Okay, number two. So, and then, you know, number one, take that responsibility for your life and then write your mission statement. What do you want your life to be about? You know, again, and that would take some time and effort for you to do that. And then you run your mission statement. You run your computer program. So that these three, you know, these things together would help you achieve the personal victory. Uh, you know, and that, uh, this is something, you know, that I think I've, I've been working on for, for, for quite a few years. Um, You know, I feel like, you know, then it's a journey. It's a journey that, you know, you start and it continues until, you know, until your last breath. Um, I feel like, you know, in, in, in my mid 40s and uh, had my birthday yesterday. I'm going to point out the gifts you guys gave me yesterday. Uh, Emilia, you made this wonderful sign for me. And uh, so what I was getting at is... Uh, You know, in my life so far, what I've learned is um, when I'm really going to be 
truly fit to live, it's going to be time for me to go. So it's a journey that continues. But the most important success is success with yourself. And you do that by doing these things that I just described, that being responsible for your life, writing your mission statement, what you're going to live your life for, and then running your mission statement every day. That's the private victory. That's success with, uh, with yourself. Um, and then, uh, you know, again, Ibrahim, your answer was habits. Again, very good answer. Um, we are what we repeatedly do. We could break bad habits and we could, you know, we're, we could uh, instill good habits within us. Um, so we are what we repeatedly do. Uh, instill as much, as many good habits in your life as possible so you don't have to think about it. You know, I get up in the morning, it's habitual for me to pray. It, it's habitual for me to go work out. It's habitual for me to do, you know, uh, so I don't have to think about these things. It's hard in the beginning, but after a while, you don't even think about it. Um, so yeah, success with self. And then uh, I'll kind of introduce you to, um, um, you know, having good relationship uh, with others as well. But, but this first, uh, you know, is something uh, um, you work on yourself for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. Uh, yeah, you modify your mission statement as your roles in life will change. Um, you know, just like the Constitution, you will, be, you'll, you will, you will make some amendments, uh, but that's essentially what your life will, you know, should be all about. Uh, and then, you know, you could easily ignore the noise. Um, so, yeah. And then secondly, having a good relationship uh, with others. Um, you know, only, only when you have a good relationship with yourself can you, are, or are you able to have a good relationship with others? Um, you know, my own experience, you know, uh, you know, starting from a dysfunctional beginning, um, you know, where I didn't have a good relationship, you know, doing these things. You know, taking the responsibility for myself, writing my mission statement, and running my mission statement every day. It, it you, you kind of, you know, again, he's our creator and to him is, is, is our return. But he gave us these choices. You know, he gave us the choice, uh, you know, to be kind of this, you know, architect of our life, you know. Um, so living the kind of life where he can forgive us. You know, and in the short life that we have right now, so we can live, uh, you know, a meaningful life, an effective life. Um, so, yeah, doing these things will give you a sense of, you know, you being responsible for your life. Uh, give you that, that personal victory for, for put you, to, to put you in a position to be able to, to, to interact with others in a positive way, in a friendly, non-threatening type of a way. Uh, you know, only when you have a good relationship with yourself that you're able to have a good relationship with others. Uh, it's it's kind of like, you know, you got to crawl before you, you're able to walk, you know. It, it, it's, uh, you know, algebra before calculus type of a thing, you know. You can't step on, you know, third, fourth step before you step on the first one, you know. Um, so, private victory, very, very important. Uh, and you'll do it, you know, uh, and you work on yourself, you know. So what I'm, what I'm getting at, you know, with today is I'm going to throw a lot of stuff at you, um, you know, but you must work on yourself. If you want any change, if, if you want any positive change, learn to work on yourself. And then relationship with others, uh, you know, we, we kind of started this conversation earlier, kids. It's, uh, you know... I was very good at sports. You know, somebody wins and somebody loses. In life and in relationships, it doesn't work that way. Can you imagine uh, if, uh, uh, you know, I'm a husband and wife, if, if mama was winning and I was losing or, you know, between siblings, you know, if, 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 uh, if one, come here now. Okay, let Baba finish, baby. Give me just. Okay. 
Huh? Where's the cake? It's in the fridge. We'll go eat it. Give me two minutes. Let me finish this video. Bye -bye. So, um, you know, good relationship with others. Um, you know, it, it's a win-win. You know. Here. Okay, baby. It, 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 it's uh, you have to have the win-win approach. So anyway, kids, I think I'm gonna have to cut this short. And I wants her cake. Um, just to sum this up, to good to, before you have good relationship with others, have a good relationship with yourself. And you do that to have that private victory. You have to take a, 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 take responsibility for your life by. Uh, you know, uh, okay, I, I accept responsibility for my, for my life. And then writing your mission statement, and then running your mission statements every day. Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, and I had to cut this short. Assalamu alaikum, Allah, love you.